Hello everyone. In today's exercise, we will explore into the world of machine learning using a MATLAB to predict the stock price. Using the real life data, we will un- uncover how to handle a time stamped information and choose the most relevant machine learning model using a technical indicators to forecast the stock price. In this session, we will predict the stock price for first 30 trading days of 2022. I meant to say January 2022 using stock price data of 2021. To test our model, we are also loading the stock price data of 2022 to compare the results and assess the accuracy of the model. Before beginning, beginning the our session, I want to showcase our data, stock price data of Infosys which I have taken from a Yahoo Finance. The data comprises of time, open, eye, low, close and adjusted in volume from the time period of 2021 to 2022. Now coming to a MATLAB, here I will load the file using the that path where it is saved and coming to the next line of code. This line of code checks if a data is in a table format is correct with a numeric data type. If not, it converts the rel- relevant column like open, high, close from cell array of strings to numeric array of string using a function called string double. Now coming to a transformation of a data to timetable. As we are dealing with time series data of stock prices such as open high low volumes using a timetable function it will enhance efficiency and readability of a code additionally it will also provide a structural way to handle related time related information for that reason we need to use timetable function to check for missing data this line of code is very useful to deal with that condition and if any rows with having a zero volume, it, that might be because of not trading days or else might be technical glitch in the market. If that volume is zero, straight away the system will remove that row from the data set. For your more information, I have given the view data code to check how data stock price of Infosys has moved over a period of time from 2021 to 22 which is not much relatable for this exercise so i not included that here now i want to classify the data set based around technical indicators here i am using 20 technical indicators like relative strength index exponential moving average negative volume index and many more in this case in the case of relative strength index this code segment is involved in the classification of data set based on identical indicators such as RSI. The people who don't know RSI, I will explain in simple sentence. This RSI is nothing but a momentum oscillator that measures and measures the speed and change of some stock price moments. In this line of code, it calculates three different RSI features for close price in three different windows such as 7 days, 14 days and 21. The first line calculates magnitude of recent price to evaluate overbought or oversold conditions. And the same goes for 14 and 21 days. Coming to exponential moving average, it is also one type of technical indicator that gives more weight to the recent prices, making it more sensitive to short term price changes rather than long term. Coming to first line of this code, this computes exponential moving average for close price using a linear weighting scheme and a period of 3. Similarly, it computes for time period interval of 5 and 10. This long period of 10 of exponential moving average spoothens the capturing of long term trends while neglecting a short term fluctuation. For that reason, we need to use exponential moving average. <coughs> After all these calculations, the output will be in the vector representations that can be used for
for a machine learning models which we are going for next line of code after doing these calculations the calculation would be vector representation that can be used for machine learning models to capture trend informations in a stock price data similarly it goes for all 18 indicators which are mentioned here till here it will uh, okay now i will proceed with the next line of code instead of emphasizing more on technical indicators coming to this line of code assuming today's price is considered for tomorrow's price this code creates a new timetable called prediction table by combining various technical indicators which we discussed right at the above as we are understanding that today's stock price is used to predict the, the tomorrow's stock price to do so that all indicators are moved forward by one day here for a training of 2021 stock price data of Infosys this line of code creates a time range for a year of 2021 and extracts the relevant rows from predicting table forming a new table named called prediction table 2021 and same goes for 2022 data to predict here i was using a training for 2022 and a prediction for 2022 data and to handle a missing data we are using a function called is missing function this line of open and close prices of selected time period in the year 2022 coming to the main critical analysis of this exercise is now we should need to assume a simple rule now we, we are giving this simple rule for a machine to understand if a closing price is more than one percent than the opening price it suggests considering a buying a stock otherwise machine should show an error to not to buy a decision for the year of 2021, a loop goes through each row, open close 2021. For each row, if checks, it checks if a closing price is more than 1%, then opening price. If true, it categorizes as a buy or else it categorizes as not to buy. And its same follows for 2022 data. Coming to the next style of code of normalization. In this normalization, it improves accuracy of a model. By doing so, normalization of data, all the features are adjusted to have a similar scales, preventing the model from being over influenced by features with longer numerical magnitudes. To convert this function into timetable, in we are using a function called timetable to table to make it into the form of a standard table. To display the number of rows and columns, we are using this function here for our understanding purpose. Now check the condition and assign the values. In this line of code, code checks number of rows in prediction table 2021 if it is equal to the response of 2022 if they match it adds a new column called response to the prediction table 2021 table and assigns a value for response 2021 to it or else it display an error message and it adds column new response to 2022 also as the same function it carries or carries over here also in conclusion i can say that response column is added to both the prediction table 2021 and 2022 with proper error handling if the dimensions are not as expected for that reason we are using that now i want to train that um, our data using different machine learning models machine learning models I have 20 different machine learning models like fine tree model, medium tree model and coarse tree and many more. Before I train, I need to load all the machine learning algorithms here using this function.
coming to first model fine tree model this code trains a machine learning model based on fine tuned decision tree using a data from prediction table 2021 table record the model and it will based on the accuracy and prediction it will record that model in model name as 1 and it, and it same goes on for all the models now all the models are tra trained using that data which is more accurate and with more efficiency that model will be chosen as a best model to choose that best model this function is used best model number one in these lines of code it selects the best performing model based on that code effectiveness model effectiveness or predicting a stock based on that market decisions buy or not the model will be chosen and we can using display this now we will execute this and see which model has has more accuracy than to do that function in our model find tree has chosen as the best accurate model let's see how much accuracy it has for that we can use a confusion matrix before doing that, we will see the stock price. To, we will predict the stock price of January first of 2022. In that case, also we get a, what what is a model accuracy. So we are using this line of code. We get a code of this so with the model accuracy of 69%. Fine tree model has chosen, and it has given a market decision as not to buy on January third of 2022. This is the first training day of 2022. We can apply same method for all to predict the 15 trading days of January 2022. Here it goes. Executing, we get an output as like this. In this case, on 6th trading day of January 2022, the model is given a decision to buy. And it goes for 8th trading day of January 2022 and so on. For a better understanding, I already mentioned about confusion matrix. Let's see how it is shown. In this confusion matrix, we observe higher count of true positive and true negative categories, indicating that our model has successfully predicted positive and negative instances accurately. I hope you understood this. Most importantly, this video is mainly for educational purpose, not to provide any financial advice and don't apply this method for to find the real time market decisions to predict the stock price because stock price is calculated and changes based on the economic data, not only through the analysis. Please be mindful. For any queries, please comment in comment below. Thank you.